and welcome to episode 3 of my 2024 reset series. So today is a very exciting video. I have been waiting to reset my planners. Yes, I have two planners this year as well as my 2024 vision board. So there is quite a lot to get through in this video. If you want to make yourself comfortable, grab yourself a drink or a snack or grab your planner and we can do this together. I hope you're enjoying my little reset series. I do have a few more episodes planned. So if you're not already subscribed, please do so below as well as hitting that notification bell. That way you will be notified of any of my future uploads. So without further ado let's just get straight into it. Now I purchased my planner accessories from May Paper Co last year and absolutely love them. So to be working with them on this video is such a dream come true and I cannot thank the team at May Paper Co enough. So this order actually arrived a couple of weeks ago. I've had it sitting in my office waiting for this video. So let's not waste any more time and get straight into this package. Now May Paper Co are a small business located here in Australia and they offer the most beautiful, minimal, aesthetic stationery as well as planner accessories and they cater to a lot of different size agendas. So I will leave their website link below as well as a discount code which I'll also leave on the screen. So in this little envelope we have, oh my gosh they did this last time. There are some little freebies which I absolutely love. First we have these baby pink foiled stickers. I don't know if you can see them very well on camera but they have nails, hair, skincare, lashes and massage. So these you can use for your beauty appointments or if you schedule out time to do a little bit of self-care. Absolutely love those. We also have this postcard sized uh, 2024 year at a glance which I'm actually really happy about because I don't Think I have one of these and it'll just be really good to see which um, date falls on which day so I'll definitely be using that and then you've got your order receipt as well as the most beautiful quote card which says if that will focus create your own path don't wait for it to be paved and on the back it says thank you for supporting a small business we hope that you enjoy your order tag us for a chance to be featured so I absolutely love that I love when these little thank you cards have a dual use because I will definitely be able to use that in my planner now let's get into what I ordered As I mentioned, I will be setting up two planners this year. I have a Louis Vuitton PM agenda, as well as a cloth and paper A5 size agenda. So we have a few inserts here for the pocket planner. We've got the most beautiful dashboard, and I believe that this is transparent. Um, there's just a white card behind it. I really like this one because, I don't know, Louis Vuitton is French, so I thought, oh, bonjour would be nice as the dashboard in front. So I purchased that as well as just some lined inserts because I do plan to use my PM agenda for just really quick brain dumps and note taking, which I can then transfer into my A5 agenda. So I will, will I take them out now? I'll just leave them aside. I just really wanted to see that. I then purchased some more lined paper, but this one has a slightly different layout. Um, and I just thought for content planning, it might come in handy. I could simply write Instagram and say what, you know, a content idea that I have, YouTube, so on and so forth. So yeah, really stoked that I got those ones as well. Um, and that is all I ordered for the PM sized agenda, as well as, of course, all the stickers. I then purchased some dollar sign stickers. I thought these would be really good for any income that I have coming in from sources other than my nine to five job. So things like YouTube, like to know it, brand collaborations, even Etsy, because I do have an Etsy store. It'll just be nice to know when that um, money is scheduled to come in. And then I also have these ones that say payday. So these ones I will use purely for my nine to five full-time job um, because yeah, that's what I would consider payday. And then I also ordered these stickers. These are on like a nice gray kind of background with a silver foil and they're all different icons. So you've got birthday balloons, mail, dinner, um, coffee. So that way I can use this for either appointments or birthdays, just anything really. I thought that they were really cute and they will definitely come in handy. I then ordered some sticky notes. I thought these ones would be really handy because they're lined and they say to do, which is generally when I'm writing a list, it's usually a to do list. And I loved that these were lined. So these I do plan to put into my 
A5 planner. Now something that I've needed for such a long time and I just kept forgetting to purchase it is one of those little pencil cases that actually go into the ring binder of your planner because I am always carrying pens around in my bag um, and I just thought it would be nice to keep a couple of pens, highlighters, and maybe some whiteout and stickers in here. So that way I have them on hand. And then we have the main event, which is my 2024 inserts. Now this year I decided to go with the daily schedule because since having a YouTube channel, since having an Etsy store, having a full-time job, I found that I previously had a week at a glance, so each box was roughly about this big, and I needed so much more space. I ended up just jotting down notes kind of everywhere throughout my planner. So I felt like this year, if I had a full page for a day, I would be able to make notes, to-do lists, priorities, and also a schedule, which I really, really like the idea of, to help me time block. I find that when I'm working from home, time blocking is essential, especially if I want to get up, I want to walk about I want to actually take a break because I find since working from home it's very easy to sit at the computer all day and pretty much not get up so that is everything I ordered from May Paper Co I cannot thank them enough for kindly gifting me these items and like I said I will leave their website link below as well as a discount code which you should definitely take advantage of especially if you haven't ordered your accessories for 2024 yet now I wanted to show you the dashboards that I've created for 2024 if you are new to my my channel I like to create my own planner dashboards I simply use Canva and have them printed onto some thick card it's very very easy to do I have a tutorial I will link that video below now as you can see with these dashboards they do have the white border and that is simply because this is the paper I already had at home so I actually think it doesn't look too bad however if you are someone where you want the images or your dashboard to go right to the edge you will need to print it onto an A4 size piece of paper and then cut it down but I already had this and I thought you know what it doesn't look too bad I will just use them like that so this is the dashboard I plan to have at the front of my planner um, and it's a bit of a sneak peek of my 2024 vision board which we will go through when I get to my vision board um, we then have a dashboard for inventory as you guys know I like to buy and sell vintage designer handbags so I like to keep track of that within my planner so I don't know I'm still unsure about the white border I can simply reprint these um, when I feel up to it but right now I'm happy with these I then have a wish list um, general notes and then I have a couple of little images here which um, are for my PM agenda so I am yet to cut these out I'm honestly thinking that this is what I want in my little PM agenda and I don't even think I'll need these obviously I'll keep them because I do like to reset my planner every few months um, but for now I'm thinking I'll just use this image and the dashboard in front the bonjour let's have a look I hope it's transparent enough oh you can kind of see it but yeah I plan to just have them like that in my little planner and that's all I need as well as the lined paper so they're the dashboards that I have printed off now what I think I'll do is I will set up my Louis Vuitton PM agenda first this is new guys I only received it a couple of weeks ago and I am so excited to use it so it is the most beautiful kind of like a linen fabric and then you've got the beautiful olive green monogram and then on the inside it's not black but it's not brown it's almost like a coffee color with the gold hardware so absolutely love this it shouldn't take me long to set up I'll do that one first and then I'll move on to my a5 planner so I might put a bit of a time lapse on and get straight into it So I think that's all I'll do for this planner because it doesn't fit a lot. Um, I would love to have something here, like a little bit more personalization, but I'm not sure what. Maybe throughout this video, if I see any accessories that I can use, I'll add them. But if you have any ideas for this section, 
maybe like a nice paper clip or something which I don't have but yeah if you have any ideas please let me know in the comments below um, with the lined paper with this one here I can probably fit it in however because the rings are so small it can become difficult to turn the pages so right now I feel like that is perfect for me and maybe down the track I can go ahead and use these as refills so I'm just going to pop those aside for now and yeah that is my little PM agenda all set up and ready to go. So I have this box here, which my cloth and paper planner actually came in. And in here, I like to keep all of my planner accessories that I'm not using. Now, before this video, I did go through and completely clear out my planner and I gave it a really good clean. So these are a bunch of inserts that I'm not using at this time, just like refills. Um, and I will definitely be using some of these in my A5 planner. So I'll leave these out. This one here is so amazing. I cannot believe I haven't used it yet. It's a 30 day cleaning challenge. I don't know where I received it from, um, but each day it's like clean stove and oven this day. And it would just be really, it's actually probably a good time to do that now, seeing as I'm in my reset mood. Um, I then have these dividers. So these are just plain dividers where I can add stickers um, as I see fit. We then have some more dashboards. So every time I create dashboards, I like to hold on to them because there's no point getting rid of them in case I want them down the track. Now, a couple of these are from brands such as Cloth and Paper. I really love this quote. Fear only exists when you do not understand that you have the power to project thought and that the universe will respond. Absolutely love that quote. I'm going to leave that out actually. We have a wedding planning dashboard, Christmas planning, which I will hold on to for next year. As you can see, these are the dashboards where the um, image goes right to the edge, which does look really nice now that I'm looking back at them. But anyway, um, Christmas planning, we've got my vision board from last year, which again, it doesn't have 23 on it, so I did want to keep it. Um, the harder I work, the luckier I get. Love that dashboard. To-do list. Designer trading, again, spring summer wish list. I don't need that right now, but I can use it. I mean, it is summer here, but um, I kind of, I've created a new wish list one. But yeah, I just like to hold on to them as well as some just clear dashboards that I like to use. Okay, moving on, we have my planner. As mentioned, I have the cloth and paper planner and I did give this a really good clean. I just used some leather cleanser first just to get rid of all the dirt and grime because I use this every single day. I am so glad I gave it a good clean because it definitely needed it. And then I went in with a leather conditioner. So it is pretty much looking brand new now and I am so excited to fill it with all of my new accessories and um, planner inserts. So what I'm going to do is pop you guys on a time lapse again because I do need to hole punch some of these dashboards. I'll fill it up and then I will do a little bit of a flip through afterwards. time for a flick through this layout is definitely different to what I'm used to but I'm keen to see how it works for me and now that I only have January to March and I'm just going to do three months at a time in my planner um, maybe every quarter I'll do a video just like this and I can go through what worked what didn't work and just how I'm going with the daily schedule so over here we have the May Paper Co quote that came with the order I think it is so beautiful and it sets a really nice intention for the year ahead and it just looks really nice with my dashboard and everything as well we then have this sheet of stickers these are just the little dot stickers which I do use when I have um, important dates that I mark throughout my calendar and then they're the only ones that fit in these card slots which is a little bit of a shame I was hoping the rest of those sticker sheets would all kind of fit in there but they didn't but that's okay I ended up putting them in the back with the little pencil case 
Here I have that card with the 2024 year at a glance. We then have this dashboard, which I really, really love. I love the colors and I find that the first dashboard really sets the theme for the rest of your planner. So really, really love this. Straight after that, we go into the calendar and I always like to do that first because this is always the section that I am looking for straight away. Now, what I like to do is use a paper clip um, to mark where I'm at. So if I am, if it's for example, January the 5th, I will put the paper clip here. So that way when I flick, it goes straight to the date. I know there's all different ways that you can do that, but for me, a paper clip works just fine. So yeah, we've got January, February and March. And then after that, we have my notes. And in here, I have also my little 30 day cleaning challenge and straight into notes. So this is where I can jot down because I was thinking before, if I've only got the three months there, if someone says to me, oh, would you be able to make it to this event on this date? What I love about having the full calendar year in there is I can flick straight to the date and pop it in. However, my workaround will be jotting down, I might title this um, important dates and I can just jot down here all of the important dates so every time I do my quarterly reset I can put in the dates that I need within their actual day. I don't know why I'm explaining that in such detail. I'm sure you get the gist of what I'm saying. So I have my notes and then we have my wish list, which again just has some lined paper and I love to make wish lists. I've already made my wish list for 2024. I will link that video below. That was actually episode one of this reset series because it just makes it easier for the year ahead. Um, for me personally, I don't buy things that I don't need and I find sticking to a wish list is a great way to save money. And then we have a section for my inventory where I like to record what I paid for a bag and how much I sold the bag for just so I can keep track. And then right at the back we have this pencil case and this is where I am keeping just my most used items. I did put the white out in there but it was just a little bit too bulky so I might just keep this in my desk drawer and yeah just use it kind of when I'm home. Um, and then in here we have three highlighters and a pen. These highlighters were from my friend Lou. They are so beautiful. I believe they're quite well known in the planner world. They're called mild liners and they're just the most beautiful, almost pastely light colors and they're double ended as well. So you've got the more tapered end on one side and then the thinner end on the other. So I've got three of those and then I just have a black pen. And I also kept all of my stickers in here. So that's how I think I'm going to use this little pencil case. Again, if I have anything that I use a lot, I will slide it in there. But yeah, that is how my planner is set out. Now, what I'm going to do later, I don't think I'll do it in this video, is I am going to start filling out dates. So I have a list of my friends birthday, you know, friends and family's birthdays. I have a list of, you know, weddings and events that we have coming up and I am going to go through my planner and just fill in all of the important dates. Ryan and I have set a date for our wedding, which is super exciting. It will be next year and I know that there's going to be a lot of planning involved with that. But yeah, I'll need to definitely get some important dates in my planner for that as well. Now we're going to reset my vision board. Now I have a full step-by-step -step guide on how I like to plan for and create a vision board. So I will leave that video below if you are interested to watch something a little more in depth. However, for this video, I thought I would just get straight into it because I have reset two of my planners and I didn't want this video to be too long. So I like to write out all of my goals, which I have here beside me. And then I search for images on Pinterest that align with my goals and I use Canva to lay them all out and print them. So I will go through some of the images that I have. I have here just a Gucci bag. That's more for my content inspiration and just to, I don't know, remind me of where my channel started was over vintage bags. I then have some keywords. So these are the keywords that I want my YouTube channel to be centered around. Quality fashion, luxury beauty, vintage handbags, organization, productivity, and then at the end there I have relatable. I wanna keep it relatable um, because in everything that I do, it's on a budget. So I really wanted to have those keywords there to just remind me of that. 
Um, I then have an image here of a European summer because we have not yet planned our honeymoon, but I'm thinking maybe a Euro summer might be nice. Um, we'll just see how we go. I also have an image here of this is just a lady pouring wine and it looks like it's at a family kind of dinner or a social dinner. Um, and the reason I printed that off is because 2024 is the year that I push my boundaries when it comes to my anxiety. So my anxiety is quite bad at the moment, guys. I'm not going to lie. Um, and it comes on in social settings or when I travel and when I feel a bit of pressure. So it's never been this bad and I need to get out more. I've been way too introverted the last couple of years, especially with my YouTube channel. It's one of those hobbies that does isolate you a little and because it takes up so much of my time, I find that, yeah, I just, I'm not getting out enough basically. So I've got that image there to remind me of that. I then have an image of Remy because she is the love of my life and I just need to be seeing her at all times. Um, I then have an image of a wedding table setting for no other reason other than just some nice inspiration. I might want to do that kind of setting at my wedding. We then have an image of a really beautiful, minimal, but cozy home. And that is because I want to focus a little more on the home this year and just its interiors. And I want to keep a really minimal home with quality um, pieces like vases, artworks, because we have been doing a lot of decluttering in the home lately and it would just be nice to keep it that way. Um, and if we do buy anything, I want it to be um, really nice quality and something that's quite special. We then have an image of a Range Rover. Now, I don't think I'll be getting a new car in 2024. I just don't need it. My little 2012 Mazda 3 is doing me fine. Um, however, I like to have it on there. Just It's more as an image of abundance. Um, let's just hope that one day I can afford something like that. I then have an image of a wedding dress. Because my wedding is in August, it will be a little bit chilly. So I'm thinking maybe a long sleeve kind of vibe. So I really like that one. I thought I would pop it on my vision board. I then have a picture of a couple holding hands at the beach. That's to signify daily walks down the beach with the dog. We pretty much do it anyway, but it's just a little reminder. Sorry if this is long-winded, guys. I then have a picture of a really nice desk setup. That's to symbolize my content creation journey. And so I stay focused. A girl doing Pilates. I really need to get strong this year. I'm okay with my cardio fitness, but I'm very, very weak. So I'm thinking of doing a little more Pilates and strength training this year. And then I have a few more. Actually, there's one more image. Um, just some nice luxury makeup. That's actually my own photo. And it's just so, again, I'm purchasing things that less is more for me this year. I'm just going to keep it minimal, but really nice quality. Okay, moving on to some 2024 goals. You will notice throughout this vision board that a lot of the goals are centered around my YouTube channel. And that is simply because 2023 for me was the year where I really honed in and you know, tried to get better with my video editing and tried to stay consistent. And I want to do that again for 2024. However, I want to focus more on quality over quantity. So, um, yeah, I do have a lot of YouTube goals this year. So we've got 10,000 subscribers is what I would love to reach. Um, we've got 1,000 TikTok subs, um, followers and 4,000 Instagram followers. I did reach my goal of 3,000 Instagram followers for 2023, only like last week. And my goal for this year for YouTube was 5,000 subscribers and I got to four and a half. So if that happens again next year and I'm shy of 10,000, even by a lot, I don't know, guys. I've seen some creators who have been on YouTube half the amount of time I have, have half the amount of videos that I have and have way more subscribers. Again, we've got a little bit of a checklist that I want to say to myself every time I upload a video educate, entertain, and inspire just to make sure that I'm providing some kind of value to my viewers. I don't want my videos to be nothing. I want you to feel a certain way, either get inspired. They're just a bit of a checklist that I want to run through. Dream collaborations. I just listed brands um, or platforms that I use religiously and would be dream collaborations. So we've got net porter Depop, Vestia Collective, eBay, and Farfetch. I never would have listed any of these brands on here until I collaborated with eBay, which was such a dream come true. And it gave me the confidence to dream big when it comes to collaborations. So I'll pop that there. And then we've got content checklist, a little bit of an extension of this one here. Authentic, educational, aesthetic, inspiring, entertaining. Actually, why did I do that twice? 
Um, but that's all I've got on my vision board this year, guys. So I am going to go ahead and pin all of these images onto my cork board. I just have a square cork board and that will sit behind my computer. So that way I am constantly viewing these throughout the day. So here we have my 2024 vision board. Definitely more simple than what I usually do, but it is nice to change it up a little. Um, and I feel like with this, I know exactly what my goals are for 2024. And because I do have a wedding in 2024 and I have a few things on, I almost didn't want to overwhelm myself with too many big goals because I just know I'll have enough on my plate. Like I said, I have a full-time job and trying to juggle this channel, personal life, as well as my job, it can get a little bit much. So I'm really happy with the simplified vision board. Now, I also have some more things that I want to do with my planner. So I am thinking I'll film like a part two or another episode within this series on how I plan for 2024. I'm thinking I might even print off some like little cards or something that I can put here with images just to personalize it a little more. Again, if you have any um, recommendations on what I could do with this planner, please let me know. I'm still trying to get to know it a little more. I did have a few questions about Notion and if I use it. So Notion is a digital planner. It is free. I think you can pay to have like extra tools, but I just use the free version. Yes, I do use it, but purely for content planning. So if you do want to see a video on that, please let me know in the comments below. But in terms of like my general day-to-day -day planning. I do like to use my physical planner. I have tried to get into using a digital planner because I love watching Notion videos. I even bought a template from Etsy for like $15. But it's just, I think a physical planner is the way for me. But with that being said, it is getting very dark. The sun is definitely setting. It's time for me to jump in the shower, get in my pajamas, and I might start planning my next planner video because this one was all about the initial reset, but I really want to do another video on how I actually plan. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please hit the like button if you did, and I will catch you all in my next one. Bye guys.